sirens all over the place. And it's Thursday. It's only Thursday. Good morning, comrades. And it's quite unusual that there are people walking here down this street with some carrying some shit. But what's even more unusual is on the other window. Look, they're full with tents. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a bad reference, but I feel as if I'm like in the middle of some refugee camp. Or here, people randomly stopping on a parking lot, thinking, hey, where should we be going? And then leaving cigarette butts on our parking. <laughs> yes, exactly that. Uh, hello there. And good morning, comrades. So, yeah, all that madness, if you've missed yesterday's vlog where I talked about it, has to do with Rock Am Ring, the world famous festival that is, uh, well, I'm not sure, finally back, but at least it is back after being absent for multiple years from the Nürburgring, which made the whole name Rock Am Ring fucking pointless and stupid because it wasn't at Ring, it was in Mendig, on the airbase. Uh, the reason why it was back, why, why it was gone from the Nürburgring in the first place, because people made such a mess, such a fucking mess. The, I mean, I mean, I made like a vlog like two or three days ago when I talked about where I had a, like a small rant about people making a mess at Brunchen, not respecting the track. That was like peanuts in comparison to what people were doing uh, at Rock Am Ring. What the reason why it, it's gone? And well, right now, I'm kind of well, not only me, but a lot of Nürburgers are freaking scared for what might happen next few days because like you saw all those tents in fact well I showed you also the um, them, 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 the, the fences that the local authorities have put up to prevent people from illegal camping and still I already had a look here in our backyard look at this people removed the fence and went like yeah fuck this shit we're just gonna put up our tent there because we can so I'm I hope not, but I expect like waking up tomorrow or even like somewhere in the evening some random guy like you know setting up tent here at our <laughs> yeah at the uh, on our grass on our lawn like yeah fuck it or there yeah because we can because we're fucking drunk we hate the party I hate that, that shit but anyway uh, for today's schedule a uh, friend of ours is coming uh, I think from Sweden with a GTR 2017 model, if I am correct. He's gonna stay a couple of nights uh, at Apex to do a couple of laps with his GTR, I presume, uh, on the ring. And uh, I need to go to Tire Trade Center now because the 570S needs new tires. Uh, up until now, it has been running the casual, or casual Pirelli something, but not the Trofeo R's, which are saving sticks, which we are going to mount. Because tomorrow the car will be used for something special I'm not allowed to talk about. I'm sorry. What else do we have? I might show you the craziness of the Rock Ring preparations. But now let's get to Tide Trend Center. Oh, first get breakfast, of course, at my most favorite gas station in the world, probably. Uh, for that, we're gonna need the red car. Sorry, have to disappoint you. Yep. Also need to take stickers off from the Gran Turismo events. Like, there is no tomorrow. Ah, oh, Fuck, I'm pretty sure some people of Rock Am Ring gonna party like there's no tomorrow. Uh, speaking of another red car of the Speciale, I apologize big time for not making a video yesterday, but like I told you, I've never ever 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 driven this car before or any Speciale for that matter. And Robert went like, here's the key, go ha have a lap. I'm like, uh, well, uh, yeah, that's nice. I have 500 meters of straight public road to get used to the car. And then hit the track, so obviously yeah, I was like not bothering filming uh, stuff and uh, although you love me too, but I'm pretty sure if we ask nicely, Robert will let me go one more time and I can show you something, but uh, first impressions? As a non-Ferrari guy, who has nothing to do with Ferrari, I'm very positively impressed. It's gonna be a very long video if I, if I start talking about it, but the engine response and after driving 570S as a, like a supercar on the Nürburgring to which I said like yeah, fuck the aerodynamics on that thing because well no you cannot say fuck aerodynamics because 570S does not have aerodynamics in the first place but this car on the other hand I can spot many 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 
many aerodynamic elements on this car alone and the naturally aspirated v8 that goes up to 9000 i think even more than 9000 rpm that was uh, nice it was similar to having morning sex yesterday morning with this car but enough talking about that let's get breakfast get tire trade center and uh, yeah i'm already talking for like five minutes so i'm pretty sure you're tired of that so yep let's get get some food 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 Ugh. No, I haven't arrived at the gas station and I'm not back already. In fact, when I pressed stop record button, Diana came out and asked me to help with something. I kind of need your manly man powers. When are you back? And I also want to show it to you, in fact, the laundry, yeah. the washing machine and the dryer have arrived. And I need to help unwrap it. So you want me to tilt it? Let's see if I can do it with one hand while filming. Oh, I can. Yeah, it's really like, I mean, you're very strong. <laughs> okay, now... Now, now I should stop like, filming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And just a little while later, the washing machine and the dryer are unwrapped. If you were impressed by the Speciale with its 9000 RPM V8, wait till you see the 1600 RPM thingy. And it comes, unlike the Speciale, with 10 year warranty on the engine or inverter motor or something. How does this open? Uh, like that. Look at that. Look at that. Arrived at my lovely Retty. Unfortunately, no car spotting in terms of prototypes for today because uh, the, there is some like a driver training going on, so no industry pool. However, a very nice E39 M5. Some nice rims. Hello. Hello. Cool car. Yeah. Just want to say that I really appreciate the 39 M5. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice, 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 nice. All the way from Norway, yeah. And a nice E36 as well. And there is something that I saw as well that maybe we can spot at the gas station. And that involves the one and only German most famous car journalist, Matthias Malmedy with AMG GTR and the film crew. So maybe they will come here and we'll have a quick, quick look. That's the way to do a food shot. Well, I didn't manage to show you Mr. Malmady himself with the GTR. I wasn't planning on fanboying around and waiting for him because I had more important things to do. Pick up food, breakfast for me and Diana. What I can show you, however, look the amount of tents here for the Rockham Ring. This is really crazy, really crazy. I hope that they won't be any trouble because this everything is just like next to Apex. This is Apex, by the way, so it can get a bit troublesome, troublesome. There are like people walking with signs saying we are thirsty, so that's like, yeah, you're a real alcoholic. Oh. And back at Tire Trade Center, and the one that needs tires has also arrived. Welcome back. Thank you. So currently the car sits on P0 Corsas, which we kind of classify as a winter tire for this car. 225 wide on the front and 285 wide on the rear. And look, it's even a bit blue, so they got a bit overheated. Um, yeah, both on the front and the rear, the car gonna get 10 uh, mil wider. So even more grip, like double more grip, better compound and more surface. Nice. Scale for reference, front, rear. Hello, carousel scars.
funny, it looks like a spaceship without the wheels. And a nice flat bottom. And a while later, we have the 570S on a new pair of shoes. B0 Torpedo R. Well, I don't have to go through sizes again with you, should I? 235, 35, 19 on the front. And and 295 a lot and a lot wider than the front 35 and 20 in the rear in case you're wondering this costed including the mounting um, just below 1900 euros so just uh, a small detail regarding running the supercar costs how long they last we will have to see actually we will have to see and what's that at the neighbors Monaco license plates Ford F40 but on the side it says GTX huh? I don't know yeah you sound angry for sure the shit you have to deal with first of all problems when there's no decent car wash near the nerve cream in the radius of like what 100 kilometers probably more like 500 probably 500 and even if there would have been a car wash, it's not allowed to wash your car on a Sunday because of some old school Christian laws. And yeah, that's why nobody has still has opened a car wash at the Nürburgring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you're like not from Germany, you're like what the fuck? Yeah, Germany is so efficient and yeah, yeah, just Germany things. Well, now at least none of you can say anything about me going through automated car wash. Because I'm doing it like it should be done. With care. Hand wash only. And now completely against any logic, after washing a car, let's take it around the track for a spin to make it dirty. Well, probably not. Just gonna take it nice and easy to break in or rub in those tires to make sure that they're not slippery anymore for Tomorrow's top secret event. Daniel with the skyline behind us. I know Daniel with the skyline. It's another, it's a warehouse Daniel. Oh, different Daniel? Yeah. Well, it's atomic Daniel. I wonder if he's still breaking in the engine. Or if he can go a bit quicker. Blank. <laughs> That's a nice license nice plate. a little bit on his rear wheel. A bit? Mm -hmm. Does he have a Ferrari? Mm -hmm. uh, then we saw him just now. Because the same name. Oops. And that gets happens when you go on the curb stones. Yeah, the reason why we are here is because of the rock and ring bullshit. And already this morning I woke up and there was some guy, uh, I want to show it on this car, but I'll just show it on our car. Uh, some guy at this Pichada was leaning like that, uh, like that, taking a picture. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, oh, sorry, just making a picture. Yeah, take a picture with your phone, not with your damn hands on the car, but I cannot stand this shit. But yeah, Philip is kind enough to let us store the car inside, probably under a BMW. I hope it's not leaking. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Good, then BMW goes out, this one goes in. I'm gonna shave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily the couch is far away from us. <laughs> the casting couch. Yeah, that's better. So, all the cars have been done, everything is ready. Oh wow, 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 watch out! You might get all the people from the traffic jam to rock on ring down here and uh, trying to make picture with your car and well, whatever not. Uh, yeah. um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, um, still waiting for Andreas, 
our Swedish friend with his GTR. Probably he went out uh, directly to TF and then we'll check in later. Uh, I'll probably wait for him to show you his amazing car before signing off for today. So, but right now I can show you the amazing traffic jam to Rockham Ring. Uh, yeah, really not looking forward to the weekend. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy, crazy. This is the shit I'll have to deal with in the next three days. There it is. I would suggest hide the car somewhere there for all the drunken people. <laughs> nice car. Thank you. How long have you have it? Because it's a 2017 model. Uh, this is uh, from 4th of April, I think. Okay. Yep. So it's nice. So probably one of the few stock GTRs in the world, or not this anymore. One, this one. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, the uh, the aim was to um, to change the exhaust, uh, but it's sort of cold cold, so. Ah, uh, okay. It didn't work. Well, it's a nice holiday car. This is uh, the possibilities of GTR. That's, that's cool. That's one of the reasons why I have it. Yeah. Yeah, the the trunk space is definitely big. <laughs> I also really like the new steering wheel of the 17 GTR. And here we have some bribery. Oh, oh, that's always good. <laughs> there you go, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, let me help you with your stuff. Yeah, thanks. So Diana left to, I don't know, to get some groceries, um, like quite a while ago, just when Robert left as well. And usually the trip to, I don't know, takes between 10 and 20 minutes, depending on the time of the day. And it took you how long? I don't know, when I left, like, what, at 6.30? Yeah, it took you three hours. Yeah. People walking in the middle of the fucking road. Yeah, oh. just rock on rain things. Yeah. But people were loving Kitty. Were they? Yeah, they were singing Pink Floyd songs and stuff. And yeah. yelling at me. Oh, cool car. That's cool. Beat that, Robert. Ferrari. There's, there's a shit Yes, there's there. everywhere shit. Yeah. But there's also duct tape. Is there? Yes. No. Oh, nice. Nice. We got food? Lots. Food, that's. I guess there's going to be a food shot. Oh yeah, and a toilet, pa <laughs> toilet paper shot. Yeah, a bit too lazy to cook tonight. Decided to go to PK, and holy fuck, the amount of tents and camps. Wow, 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 wow. And fires. The smells of barbecue. That's pretty goddamn crazy. And welcome to the Paradox, there's probably literally a million people extra around the Evercring and the restaurant is completely empty. Wow. Crazy. Uh, one more. That would have been such a GTA moment when the ambulance just driving over people to have them as a patient. <laughs> it's like a state of emergency here already. Sirens all over the place. And it's Thursday. It's only Thursday. This is crazy. <laughs> 